Hey, how are all you assassins doing? Um, I thought I might just do a little, uh, hold up, a little thing. Uh, for those of you who have seen my Roblox video, I was talking about making a real finance phrase pizzeria. And so, um, I think I might talk about that for about a half an hour. Just so, I, for those of you who did see it, or for those who were playing it, that I was talking to, you might hear some music playing in the background. It's Noticed Duet by... I don't know what that is. Uh, now I'll just show you. Long way. Okay, so. It's made by this guy. So, go just subscribe to that person. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this. But, um, you can tell I haven't subscribed to that person yet. Camera bit. So, um, you'll hear that playing in the background. I hope I don't get copyright. But, um, I like that. The one thing I wish I could do is, um, I'm gonna show you guys my voice with Foxy. Let me know. Um, I, for my opinion, for my opinion, I prefer the girl that's voicing Mangle and the person that's voicing Foxy to voice them because. In my opinion, those voices suit them a hundred percent. I a hundred percent agree with this person that had the person voice Mangle and Foxy, or because I don't, because there is going to be Mangle in the horror attraction area, which I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Um, the Mangle that I'm going to have, it's only Foxy will have a hook while uh, first make Foxy is it's going to be uh, she's going to be called. It's going to be having a parrot to, to link her to being a pirate, and Foxy isn't going to be all torn up or anything, he's going to be all put together. And, hold up, I believe I have an image. Let me go into my images, and I'll show you what Mangle is going to look like. Um, if I can find it. Here we go. So. I hope this doesn't mess with the recording. Um, but this is what Mangle is going to somewhat look like. Um, try to get a good, gonna get a, attempt to get a good image. Well, that's what Mangle's gonna look like. Um, so I'm keeping that on my thing. So. Audio, this is gonna be terrible, I can already tell. But, that's what I'm hoping Mangle will look like. Um, so let's start talking about Funnets Freddy's. Five Nights Freddy's is a franchise them, in my opinion, I love. Um, for those of you uh, who don't know me, I have talked about... I don't think I've talked about Schizophrenia in one of my videos before, or in Roblox. Schizophrenia is... Uh, my father was schizoaffective, which is a worse version of Schizophrenia, I believe. I'm, I got Schizophrenia from him at a... To, from a young age. I guess when it started kicking in. Uh, schizophrenia really kicked in when I had it when I was watching Fight Freddy's. Uh, literally, I seen them roaming the halls of my house, and so when I, you know, I got put on schizophrenia pills. I'm still on them. Uh, when I started telling my mom, I seen them roaming the halls. The ones that scared me the most were the nightmare animatronics when I seen them in my house. At first, it was I never seen the Final Fantasy Freddy's three characters. It was mainly Final Fantasy Freddy's one and two. But when I watched Final Fantasy Freddy's four, they started showing up. The only one that would show up that I liked was Foxy. Was my sketch friend and Foxy would follow me everywhere I would go because I guess he was quote unquote my uh, guardian animatronic. I guess you could say. But I love Foxy. He's my favorite character, and I love it when people do imagery of Mangle all put together. Um. But, you know, I really do like Foxy a lot. He's my favorite character. So, it, okay, so let me show you my voice. Oh, I'm a bit sick as well, so it might not go over well. How are ye lads and lasses doing? It be I, Foxy the Pirate Foxy, ready to tell you the tales of my adventures out in the open seas. I hope you lads and lasses are ready to hear my tales. For we shall be ready to attack the enemy pirate crew. On this adventure, or something like that. I don't know, but um, I will be like paying a lot of people to allow me to use their songs because, like, noticed duet. I will be paying that person 
like, like, I guess 50 bucks to allow me to use their song. So when people recommend the duet, you can actually have like Mingle and Foxy actually sing together. And uh, if I can't get these people to do it, I hope I can. I would love to. Oh, God. It would make me so sad knowing that I wouldn't be able to, because my voice, in my opinion, isn't as good as these people. Um, who was it? Come on, let me look. I, I believe I said their name in the thing. Uh... Yeah. Civi guy, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so... Snivy... Um, here, let me just show you. So... That person voiced. Okay, let me be quieter. That person voiced Foxy. Let me get in closer. So that person voiced Foxy. And then. That person voiced Mangle. And so, um, in my opinion, I like the girl who voiced Mangle. It really suits Mangle. Um, it'll really suit the mangle that I showed you when she's all put together and not torn apart and fraction kind of thing. But, um, so hold up, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of audio on what they sound like. So yeah, I think their voices really suit them, especially the mangle that I have envisioned. When I first met Fox, I'm just gonna call it Mangle. So you guys understand who I'm talking about. Um but let me move my camera up a bit. There we go. So I just pretty I love the franchise, that's why I'm hoping this. I did a uh, tweet Scott Coffin, I tweeted him on three things, if he'll allow me to do it. I have to give him 10% of every amount of money that we get. Uh, so basically, I think he'll probably get about like, if I do get this off the ground, he'll probably be making millions, because this is going to be a billion dollar idea. Then I'm giving about Pizza Hut 5%, same with Will Caesars, uh, 5%, because we're going to get a, uh, a worker that, like, someone who works with the breadsticks, like, that, like, the person, it, we're gonna, I don't know, but we're gonna have Pizza Hut's Pizza because everyone, like, most people like Pizza Hut's Pizza, but we're also gonna be having their breadsticks as well, along with Little Little Caesars, we can have their pizza as well, but we're gonna give them 5%, so every time we get money for pizza or breadsticks, they get 5% from that. Of uh, the money that we make from that, and so the idea is, uh, what's going to be happening is during the day there's going to be homeless people will come in, we'll give them to where they can get washed up and stuff like that, and we'll give them a uniform that they can use, and so like they can go to like a place where someone we're gonna have like a little barber shop in one room. It's like an area that no one else can get to, where we it's basically like the real fancy place how there's like a secret room in the bathrooms area. So what's gonna happen is they can get washed super quickly. They can take a shower, bath, and uh, week if it's like we can help them shave up and stuff like that. So they, like give them haircuts and stuff like that. So what's gonna happen is uh, they can earn cash. So like there's other people they can like uh, before you do a full day's shift, we give you a part time job for one day. So, like, if you don't enjoy it, if you don't enjoy working there, uh, then we'll give you, like, you can work there until you find that this isn't a job for you. Instead of just leaving, what we can do is, we will give you actual, the full, uh, part-time pay, but if you find it enjoyable, like, you like it there, here, let me turn it down because I don't want to get copyright, okay, but, so the idea is, um, ooh, this is actually a really good image. Let me show you that. Did I mess up the recording? 
No. Okay. But I want to show you this. Okay, I actually like this outfit that they gave Foxy and Mangle. If we, if they were to have clothing, this is the clothing I'm gonna have for Mangle, and this is gonna be the clothing I'm gonna have for Foxy. Let me see if you can get that in the image. But yeah, that's. So let me get up closer. So this is going to be the clothing for Mangle. It's gonna be the clothing for Foxy. There we go. So. Um. So the yeah, whole premise of this pizzeria is. To help out those who are homeless, so we can give them a bunch of money. We're gonna be like charitable. Cause another thing is, uh, what people love about that people will find interesting is, cause people who are homeless are mostly veterans. For those of you who don't know, 80% of people who are homeless are veterans. Cause supposedly veterans are supposed to have an advantage in the world after the war. Yeah. It's not true. It's actually all a lie that the government wants you to believe. But, so what time are we running on? Let me move you. Oh, come on. Just move. There we go. So, put you in the corner right there. So we're already on 11 minutes. Okay, so let me start talking about the pursuit. So, the mana tracks that will be on stage, there's going to be Mangles Cove and Pirates Cove, or and so it's gonna be all pirate themed for Foxy, and it's gonna be like uh, mainly boys pirate theme, and then it's gonna be more of a girls pirate theme. So it's like more, it's like for Foxy, it's gonna be more darkish colors, like a black pirate's flag and stuff like that. While with Mangle, it's gonna be a bit more vibrant. It's not gonna be black. It's more of going to be a white pirate flag, uh, and so uh, it's gonna be. Uh, Foxy's is going to be a, like, actually, no, Foxy's is going to be a red pirate flag, actually. I just thought of that. But, so, the animatronics will be on show stages, uh, the normal animatronics and the toys. And so, Mangle, as I told you, is going to be all put together, and there's an idea that I got for her from a fan art. Uh, I, I didn't get sent to me, I just was looking through Mangle's, and there, Foxy will still look the same as if he was in the game, but more pirate-esque. And the thing is, during the night, Ming, uh, Foxy won't have a hook, he'll have a hand, so there's actually going to be a little thing that will, that we're going to have to where like, his hook can come off, but it's screwed on, so if you do watch this, when we do make Foxy, don't take off his hook, please, but what's going to happen is his hook can come off, but when it's screwed on, there's like a locking mechanism that locks in place that you need a special key to un unlock it, that's why people don't want to screw it. But during the night, his hook comes off, we put a metal hand on instead. Because the idea, during the night, it's a place of horror to where the animatronics will grab you and bring you to the very beginning. And the parrot, I guess, will be an animatron uh, camera for the animatronics. And the only way you can stop the animatronics from grabbing you is a flashlight. I think if I can find my medikit, I can show you the type of flashlight. Give me a sec. Let me see if I can find my our medikit. Um, let me see. Where are you? Uh, please don't tell me she packed it. Okay, so basically, alright, so let me just tell you this. So the flashlight is those flashlights that you can get at like a dollar store for like two bucks, or two dollars. Takes just two AA bat- is it? yeah, AA batteries. And you're gonna shine it in their eyes for them not to grab you, so that way, but Fox- the Fox and the animatronics, Mangle's just gonna walk normally. They actually walk faster than normal animatronics, but if you do damage them, you will have to pay to repair them and stuff like that, so I recommend if you do go into the horror attraction, make sure you are not scared of being grabbed. We even do say this, we'll give you, you have to give us your name, signature, fingerprints, like all your fingers, and <clears throat> so we can instantly get where you, and stuff like that. So, I, but during the night, I will be the one who gets all that information. So, I, none of our workers, because if it's a criminal or something like that, so I, they don't go to your house. Because then another thing is, they can't, because I know some criminals have actually been able to, like, go to, like, criminal databases and st stuff like that. I don't know why. But there actually are some criminals that do that. But, uh, the thing is, the animatronics, if you are a criminal, like, uh, I recommend, like, don't do anything wrong, because these animatronics, if you pull out a gun, 
These animatronics will be lethalized to where Foxy's hook can't, like, legally, these animatronics are a defense mechanism. To where the animatronics, what will happen is, they will straight up break your arm if you pull out a gun. So I recommend, if you do come here, like, they are weaponized to the point to where if you pull out any firearms, the only thing is, if you point it at a worker, so that way if they see that you have a intent to where if they link you to a criminal database, then they will instantly go for you. If you are not linked to a criminal database, then you're fine. But we recommend keeping your weapons with us at the inside of the place or at the front. Because the money you pay up, uh, you pay once you go inside. Like, what happens is there's someone, there's someone that they work with cash register. So I like, and another thing is there is a uh, the little animatronic cupcakes that will roam around. So the thing is, I recommend uh, the animatronic cupcakes will only be uh, roaming around if there's not like a big group of people. So I like. The animatronic cupcakes, uh, they're gonna be on like a little wheel system, so I, like they can turn and stuff like that. They're gonna have three wheels on the bottom, so I, they can drive forward and turn. So I, I just hope that they don't tip over. If you come and you see the cupcakes have been tipped over or something, I recommend we'll tip them back over. Because the idea is, these animatronic cupcakes will go to a table, and they will ask you what your order is of a cake, and then what they'll do is. They'll send a little signal to Chica. So I, like what's happening is, uh, what is it? Chica will go up to the, into the kitchen, tell the chef what kind of cake you want, and say the table's name. You can also pay extra for Chica to actually deliver the cake for you. You can, you can either pick toy Chica or normal Chica. And so there's going to be two cupcakes rolling around. It's going to be like extra workers, I guess. So I, like, there will be normal workers walking around out asking for orders and stuff like that. But what you have to do is, uh, you can also pay, but you have to pay extra for Chica to deliver the cake. You can also pay extra, but for you to have Chica deliver the cake, it's only about like five bucks, like five or ten dollars. Um, and if you want the puppet to deliver the presents, cause give gifts, give life, mini game kind of thing. Uh, we're going to try to tone down the creep factor on the uh, on the puppet, because the puppet, in my opinion, is a bit creepy. But something I bet a lot of people will find very good. I will literally pay Mark Wire uh, a lot of money. Like, I'll pay for his flight to Arizona, because I'm moving to Arizona, for those of you who don't know. To Arizona and back to cut the ribbon and go inside. The thing is, I want him to actually go through the horror attraction as well. You have to think, there are the Nightmare Anatronics, the Wither, and the Phantom, including Plush Trap and the jack o Anatronics from the Halloween update. I know they're not canon, but the Freddles, they're going to be an event. There's going to be three Freddles. I don't know why I'm looking over there, but uh, there are going to be three Freddles. And so the Freddles, the idea of the Freddles is they're like little cameras for Nightmare Fredbear. The plush trap is a camera for spring trap, but they can see through their own eyes, but they're like little cameras that connect to them. So you, you'll hear thumping, there's like a little, be a little sensor, and there's going to be like a little speaker that says, uh, entry in vent. So that way you also hear thumping of the animatronic crawling around. So that way, um, if you do wind up uh, hearing thumping in the vent, I recommend shining your flashlight in the vent, and if you do do that, the Freddles will walk away and go to the other side of the vent, because they can go to, there are three vents, they all connect to certain areas, and there is a thing that you can do is, during the night you can play Night Guard to where there are little, uh, you can, like, what you can do is, um, you can pay, like, you can pay 50 bucks for this, to where you're the only one in there, to where from, you get to be in there for an out for about half an hour, or how long is the nights? Like yeah, for half an hour, to where 
the reason why it's a half an hour is so that way you can actually play the game IRL. But instead of getting stuff inside of a suit, you will be you will they will grab you and bring you to the very beginning. So that way you do fail if they do get to you. And so the animatronics, like the thing is, there's like the only light system that you have are the lights in the doorways. Otherwise, there is only like the lighting, but the lighting is making it to where there will be a shadow casted. Well, Chica will stand in the doorway. Uh, there will be a shadow casted in your room for Bonnie. And then, so you can pay fifty dollars to do that, or you can go through the whole thing. But the Nightmare Electronics on Halloween, the Withered and Nightmare Electronics will take the places. Also, Mangle. And, ah, oh, frick, what else? And torn apart Foxy. The one that's like damaged. Here, let me show you. Oh god, where is my cursor? There it is. So, yeah. So, this kind of looking Foxy and this Mangle, basically, will be the only people in Pirate's Cove. So, that way. Uh, no, wait. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm stupid. Cause no, yeah, it's gonna be Nightmare Foxy and Nightmare Mangle will be in there. I think I don't know, but uh, let me replay the music. So okay, so the thing is, like, this is going to be costing a lot of money. I'm hoping like uh, Scott Cawthon is a really cool guy, but I'm literally like I'm gonna be sending him a lot of money, like every. Like, once the year ends, whatever money we make, like, after, like, every month, we're gonna send him the money we need, because I would be excited to get another game, that's why I'm giving him money, so that he can bust out these games a lot faster. So he doesn't like... Cause I, I'm, I believe Scott Cawthon also works with job as well. So when he's off his job, he works on the, ga on the game and bills and stuff like that. That's why I'm hoping to send him money, so we're like, this is also somewhat of his business. And if he allows me to do sister location, there are going to be sister locations where you can do their pure horror attractions to where you can do it IRL. So uh, if you do get caught, you have to uh, restart the whole thing. Also, when there is like a house that you have to, there's a, it's supposed to look like a house. But there is a certain sign on that says sister location. Uh, I find it's very sister location. So you know it's sister location, but you can only go there during the night shift. So those who are, but they can also be people who want to see Baby and Blora, stuff like that. They can pay like they can pay fifty bucks to them for like, but they have to pay ahead of time for them to actually go out and go there and just like how they do is they will have a helium tank inside of them they will be able to dispense ice cream baby will anyways and uh, baby will be able to dispense ice cream have a helium tank inside of her so there's that so it'll be a little bit cooler so I um, so even so with the cakes there is you can pick your kind of cake you can have ice cream cake or normal cake the ice cream cake we will have to uh, we, like for the ice cream cakes, if you buy them ahead of time, for us because we can't make the ice cream cakes ourselves. Uh, if you if you buy them uh, at another place, we will hold on to them for you. If you decide to have your the kid's birthday at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, if you buy the cake, we will hold on to it into a freezer so it stays fine. So I, like we can deliver the cake, or you can decide to have it made by because we will have a few professionals. Uh, for baking and stuff like that at our place. Say, like, also, one thing we can do is we will normally have a. We'll. There's this one guy, he works. Uh, like, we'll have French croissants. A uh, French croissant. Uh, I just prefer saying croissant. No one say that's stereotypical or I'm being racist because I am actually French. I just prefer saying it like that. But, anyways. Um, so the horror attraction, uh, I got a little bit into that. So a horror attra horror attraction is, there are the nightmare animatronics. The nightmare animatronics range from 
Chica is about, I believe, what is he? She, not he. Why did I say he? She. She, I believe, is about, what is it, like, uh, like six, like, exactly seven feet tall. Wait, did I say six or seven? Seven feet tall. Then there is Nightmare Bonnie, who is seven foot, seven foot eight, because of his ears. He's only naturally seven foot, but because of his ears, he's seven foot eight. Uh, I think about someone like that. Um, and then there's Nightmare Freddy. I believe he is seven foot five. Then you got Fred Bear, Nightmare Fred Bear, anyways, who is, I believe, seven foot ten. And then you got Nightmare, who is also seven foot ten, but just a nightmare version of Nightmare Fred Bear. Then you got Nightmare on, uh, which is also uh, Nightmare on is a camera. But then you also got Phantom uh, Puppet. But these guys are more like cameras. But the thing with Nightmare on. Uh, he is more on a track. He's like one of those Amtroks that are just on tracks, but he will be able to grab you. The Phantom Knight, uh, Phantom Puppet won't be on a, won't be on a track. Uh, well, he, yeah, he's not gonna, he's gonna be on a track. Uh, but he's just gonna be camera, he's not gonna be able to grab you, but what you have to do is, to make sure he, to camera shuts off, you have to shine the flashlight in his eyes, uh, so his his camera system shut down for a short period of time. They'll shut down for 10 seconds, so that you have enough time to get out of there. And so, by the way, these animatronics are also equipped with facial recognition scanners that are connected to a police da uh, criminal database. But the only thing is, they will if you are a criminal. The only thing that they will do is if you have like say crimes of murder or something like that. Um, it only depends on how long ago that was as well. But these animatronics are more ruthless because these animatronics, they have a stronger engine, like motor and stuff like that. So I, if it's like, say the worst your criminal record is, um, say if it was like murder, these animatronics are a high alert all the time about over you. They will always be watching over you, kind of. So, but the thing is, you have to walk through a metal detector, so that way it's make sure there's no weaponry on you. If like if it's a gun, we hold on to it. No, nope, play back again. Okay, there we go. So, oh no, did it just change? Oh, crap. Okay, so. The reason why, like, I'm going to do a fundraiser for this as well. My grandpa is going to uh, help me with this. What's happening is, on my YouTube channel, if I get a camera, um, I will be recording uh, the blueprints on blueprint paper. Uh, how I'm doing this is, I was only doing it on normal paper, so every three-eighths of an inch of a foot. My grandpa, some of you may have known, uh... Well, not personally known, but he built one of the Lowe's in Utah, so he actually know he was the one who did all the blueprints, and he was actually there to build it as well. So I already know that you need about four feet in length for a door for uh, people who are disabled, and I'm gonna have like a little fancy door. Who knows that one hospital that has that little? Uh, it's like a window, just a straight window that turns. Like it turns clockwise. There's only one hospital in Utah that does that, so if you haven't been there, I don't know. Uh, but it's actually a really cool hospital. I like it there. But uh, we're gonna have that kind of fancy door, kind of, because um, the reason being is so you don't have to open a door constantly. But there's gonna be a sliding door that opens and closes, so it just slides open. So that way, then you have to just go through that and stuff like that. But I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Yeah, it's just gonna be that spinning door. But then there's gonna be a door on the inside that just slides open, so there's no bugs like inside. Cause I know, cause I know sometimes like, but something that uh, is gonna be different with us 
is we're going to have Venus flytraps, which uh, kill bugs that get inside the building. We're going to have one in the entryway, a kitchen, one in each bathroom. Then we're going to have one in the office, the night guard's office. Then we're going to have one... Uh, we're going to have really none in the... What is it? The... Night... Uh, the... I always call it, call it the nightmare room. The nightmare room. Uh, also, there's actually a room that the animatronics, if you're actually close enough, they will throw you into this room. It's a black, it's a dark, dark room, I think is what they call it, where you have to solve a puzzle to get out. Also, there are secret passageways that you can go through that actually lead you to a dark room. But the thing is, you are locked in there. So you have to solve the puzzle so it flips back open. But what happens is, once it's flipped back open, it'll stay locked for that whole night until everyone gets out. And so, what's going to be tough about that is, there are three dark rooms. And so, each time it's going to be different how to, where all the stuff is. We're actually going to have someone, uh, if they see someone in a, we're actually going to have something for the person that can go through without the animatronics grabbing them. Uh, it's going to be a special kind of thing. Uh, it's going to be like a little something inside their clothing that the animatronics will see. So I, like, uh, it's going to be like a little kind of like, uh, what is it, like a type of metal that will be inside the clothing. Just like only on the shirt, mainly. It's just going to be like, basically, mainly the metal will be around basically like just, uh, let me get it good. It's basically just going to be like from just like right here down to like the chest. So, I, like, what happens is if they detect that kind of metal, uh, they will know not to touch that person because they're the ones that are going to be... Uh, but if you're locked in the dark room for more than ha half an hour, we will personally let you out. And and for... So, basically, like, if you're locked in it for half an hour, we will personally let you out. Um... So we also have cameras in there, so like we can watch you to make sure that we also there's a night guard that there's also a night guard. Uh, but the thing is, the night guards they're still in those night guard rooms. So the thing is, um, those night guards still have to watch out for the animatronics. So they still have to like if the night guard also wants to play um, with the animatronics, they want to mess with the animatronics. They can choose not to wear the outfit, but they always have the outfit. In that room, mainly for when the person gets locked into that room, and so then we talk more about what the premise is going to be. It's going to be there's going to be the main show stage, but the thing is, something that a lot of places don't do. We're actually going to have it for it's going to be one Wii U, and a, well, not one Wii U because. It's gonna be like an Xbox One and a PS4 that you can get, um, but you need a million tickets to get that. And it's not like in any normal machine. It's like not a normal pinball machine kind of like thing or anything. It's going to be a literal console. It's gonna be like a little arcade kind of thing. So it's like, say what there's in there is like a uh, N64, but there's a little thing that's wired into it that's wirelessly connected to it. So we're gonna like, uh, like so the company what they'll do is they're gonna customize like an N64 kind of thing. So I, uh, so you can still play N64 games. It'll still have the same graphics for those games. You can still play it, like say you still have to put in a cartridge and everything like that. And the thing is, uh, there's gonna be like say you can also play a DS like uh what is it, uh Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, it's the time one, the the one with time or something like I don't know, because that's my favorite one. I'd always be there just to play that. You know, it's, Mystery Dungeon was the best Pokemon game in my opinion. Well, the time one, the other ones that they made, some people s agree that they weren't that good. But uh, so let me know down in the comments if like how can I wind up getting a Kickstarter started, because I'm going to put a Kickstarter link down in the description, um, but f but mainly what some of the Kickstarter money will go to is for us to be helped to move, 
because I need some of the Kickstarter money to wind up moving because my grandpa is the only one who will help me get the blueprints. Because without blueprints, there's no building, so, you know, so we need help to be moving. So, um, anyways, um, let me think. So, you know, I think in my, well, just so you know, by the way, um, the mangle that I showed you in the image, uh, she's only somewhat gonna look like that, but, as all, hold up, let me get my outro music ready, hold up, I always have an outro song ready, yeah, hold it down, outro song. I don't want to add. Okay. Hopefully. Now, why are you on two minutes? Okay. Okay, there we go. But as always, the video must come to an end. And I will see all you assassins in the next video. Bye bye!